Pedagogy of Physical Science, B8 Syllabus, Second Semester. The question can be asked is, discuss merits and demerits of laboratory method or discuss limitations of laboratory method. The word laboratory was originally applied to the workroom of a chemist, a place devoted to experimental study in natural sciences. Hence, the term laboratory method was first widely used in the physical sciences to characterize a teaching procedure that makes use of experimentation with apparatus and materials in order to verify physical laws and other facts. Merits of laboratory methods Under this first one, the information which is gained by the students turns out to be of permanent kind which means to this method, a science teacher can provide various kinds of learning experiences to the students and it will give them a permanent information. Second, individual differences and interest of all the students are taken into consideration and this method is also called as child-centered method because the students or the children do the laboratory activities by themselves. The third point, students learn to explore various things on their own. They also learn to verify various scientific facts and principles. They possess high level of self-confidence. Fourth point, students directly get indulged in the experimental functions and handle the various complex instruments themselves. Thus, various kinds of practical skills and proficiency get developed in them to considerable extent. This can also help them to earn their livelihood in the future. Fifth point, a relationship gets developed between the students and the teacher as they seek for the guidance while performing the practical work and the teacher gives more attention to the individual. Sixth point, an important good habit which gets developed among the students is that they learn to perform their work on their own and independently. And along with this, the qualities of honesty, sincerity and truthfulness also get developed among the students through this method. Seventh point, when students get success in their experimental work, then they attain a sense of achievement. Demerits of laboratory methods This method involves certain kind of risk of occurrence of accident if the students are not careful with the apparatus and the equipments. Secondly, shortage of resources. Since the students are many, it is difficult to provide each student the equipments and the apparatus to do their practical work individually. Thirdly, this method is considered to be expensive since a huge amount of funds are required to buy the equipments. Students also feel heavy burden since they are expected to learn by performing experiments. Just as students feel heavy burden, so also the teachers because they find it difficult to attend to the individual needs of the students and when the individual attention is not given to the students, they also get discouraged. Next, this method can only be used by experienced and well-qualified teacher, otherwise probabilities of getting failure can be increased. As a conclusion, from the above discussion, it is clear that this method can only be used by the teacher when students getting education have sound theoretical base. Not only this, there should be provision of enough apparatus in the school laboratory, otherwise students will not get individual materials. Also, this method cannot be made practicable at primary and middle school stages, however, it can be used for imparting education to students of high secondary stage. If the number of students getting education in the class is more, then it is not possible to make use of this method as teacher will find it difficult to make arrangement for different equipments for such a large number of students.